Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video we're gonna be designing a sci-fi seat. Let's go. Alright, let's grab a cube and let's get going. Now, left hand side, you can see the keystrokes. It's an add-on by proxy called Scribe and you can download it. Um, there's a link in the video description. I think it's on Gumroad. It's fantastic, okay? It works all the time over any program and doesn't miss a beat. Now we're going to be using machine tools, mash machine, hard ops and box cutter, obviously, because who doesn't? And if you're not comfortable with these add-ons yet, I suggest you grab our course. Uh, that's a sci-fi terminal design in Blender, link in the video description. And if you are a complete beginner in Blender, then probably you should be grabbing our um, jumpstart course in Blender. So we're going to move this somewhere here. Now what I need is the um, is the uh, human reference. I'm going to grab one from uh, Jamma Jurabiev pack called Mech Squad. It's on Gumroad. Link in the video description. It's a bit expensive, but it's bloody amazing. You get a few mechs over there, as well as um, these engineers, and they fully armored, textured, and pampered. So. I suggest you get that now, which is a bit too big. Now, what we need to do here is we need to angle this um, this uh, seat a little bit uh, because it's going to be much more comfortable to sit that way. Um, all the seats are usually angled like that. And now she's not too i think she's okay not too big right? i think it's perfect so here we can just you know create like a, a back here and we can just drop this down so extrude it and i'm gonna move it somewhere here and we're gonna use the uh, uh, alt r function from machine tools which is called edge constraint that's the machine tools those x version r y 90 and scale that i can move it in here and temporarily create something like this uh, at the moment we don't need anything else in here right so we got this chair i think this could be a little bit more reclined it's going to be a bit more comfortable i always like to recline in chairs quite deeply um, i think they're much more comfortable so i think this is cool now we can bring that over here and check if the size of the seat is good i think it's cool looks believable all right good so let's go now I'm going to be doing some cuts in here, so let's just select this face and Control Q. Now, if you don't have this shortcut, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, just get up, get out of this view. So, select the face and go to Q with hard ups, mesh tools, align view, right click, assign shortcuts. This will allow you to align to a face and click here, and you're good to go. So now, in fact, you know what? We could actually rotate this. So I done Control Q and I think Shift, no, uh, Control. Yeah, Control. And rotate it here, then click, and we align perfectly to this face. And we can cut it. So let's enter Box Cutter and the Endgon cut, and we can just cut it in here, like that, and Mare. So we got this cut going on, on this chair, cool. And uh, we can actually start, uh, you know, adding some cushions and stuff. But before we do that, let's maybe, uh, uh, you know, round this up here. So it's a bit more uh, user friendly. We can apply this here and, you know, create another round corner here. Shift, Control, click on the sharpen. We could also around this in here. Uh, it's peachy. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we got that. And to be honest, this seat could kind of like, you know, go um, sort of um, could be deeper in, in this side. So let me let me show you. So I grab this part here and extrude it. And then I'm going to remove this edge again. Control, control click on sharp and we can remove this. And then I'm going to cut it with an angle like that, you know. So I'm going to hold control uh, to release the angle and slice like that. I think it's going to be pretty interesting uh, of a shape and uh you know this end here could be sliced like that so this is pretty cool and we can go with sharpen and move my mouse to the right to fix the auto smooth although so cool we got that going now back should be a bit deeper as well okay so here what we're gonna do we're gonna grab these two faces and extrude them 
Now you need to enable a tool in machine tools called punch it. So it's on available through the Deus Ex version or a standalone add-on. And I think it's called, I think it's extrude. Yeah, it's extrude this one. So when you enable that and you select faces, so let's just run some loops here. And we can select two faces like these and we're gonna go Alt E and you'll see this function punch it and you can punch it in here like that, okay? This will extrude the manifold geo and will not create additional faces, which is great. So here we could GG and move this up and then, you know, G, GG and move this down. And we could grab these two here and battle them. Okay, let's just clean that with uh, machine tools. Let's see now. That's better. So let's just, uh, you know, battle these. And then we could just move this one up a little bit and let's just build this in here and same here, just GG. And we could just bevel this one here, right? And we can clean that so operations, clean mesh and then mirror to the other side. We're gonna get some additional edges here, we can dissolve that. We don't really need these edges, right? So we can get rid of them. Cool. And shift click on sharpen to fix the auto smooth. Now here, we're gonna connect that and grab this entire edge, connect here too, and click alt click. That will not work. So let's just click the whole edge here. And one more time, there we go and bevel this right like this and then I'll take it to the other side so we got this really nice flowy shape here at the back right so we can now slice this and uh, you know we can grab and gone and we could run it from the top create a larger seat here and go like this and run the bevel in the middle so you know introduce a bevel here and slice it we got this kind of a really cool kind of a sci-fi shape and in addition to that, we could run some uh, cuts here in the middle. So, you know, we could uh, have a cut running in here. Like this. B and, and cut through. And uh, another one here. Hold control. B, scroll and click. We got this really interesting structure here in the back of course we could make this uh, even more interesting um, by introducing some chamfers here i mean sorry bevels and all that all right so we got this basic you know very basic shape of uh, the chair here we can create some kind of a you know chamfer and uh, maybe slight extrusion on this side so we got this shape here going on right so let's just bevel this and wait to normals we could work on this a bit further we could for example run uh we could apply this uh, um this cut here or we could have some fun so uh, we could go here and for example introduce some some you know supports here in the back could be used for whatever reason like this there you go and we want to cut them both so alt h and grab these two uh, and we're gonna cut them so run here like this and then here and we're gonna run the bevel here so b for bevel and boom and of course, this one could be cut here as well. It's a bit too sharp. So what we're going to do is, in fact, what we could do is um, apply that and then just GG and sort of, you know, run a bevel on that. Um, combine these here. What's going on here? Oh, this is a cutter, okay, I just got confused. So I'll run a bevel here and, you know, same on the top, just run a bevel, because why not, right? And then just 
mirror to the other side we got interesting kind of like a, you know some kind of a support here in the back uh, maybe some kind of uh, um, you know space for some sort of uh, pistons or whatever some kind of a mechanism supporting this chair we're not gonna be going that deep in the design here right but you know it looks kind of interesting here in the back there's a bit of a sheeting problem here, let's just run weighted normals and everything is peachy. The seat is coming along now, we could move these elements and sort of continue with this theme here. So, uh, this seat here, you know, in this um, area could be hollow. So, B for bevel and, you know, cut through. So, it's going to be a little bit less, um, the, the form is going to be lighter, right? Uh, which looks pretty cool and of course we need some cushions on top of it right so let's just hide this figure here and we need to figure out the cushions so let's just grab a cube or in fact you know what let's grab a plane that plane and we need to align this plane with this uh, top surface here so let's go here and face project rotate uh, align rotation and hold control and align it doesn't matter what it snaps to because we're gonna be you know redesigning it manually so we're gonna do a bit of a sub d here so gg and do something like this and we're gonna split it into several cushions right so uh there's gonna be one cushion in here so gg and move it in here there we go and let's just run a scale on it and we're gonna run a solidification so solidify right and then we're gonna grab this edge here and shift d and y oh that's not gonna work um let's actually apply this let's grab this face here and d and shift curve extract peachy and we're gonna grab that and gg whoa what's going on here oh this is solidified uh, let's just apply this and then grab these two GG and move it in here and uh, we could actually move it on on this axis so grab this face and then uh, go here and click on the plus which will create the custom uh, transformation based on the rotation of this face so now we have this GZ um, sorry GGX it's going to move on this axis which is what we want because we want to move it along this edge here and that's that then we're going to grab these and mirror them to the other side and we also need some kind of a cushion in the middle here so in fact we could make this a bit more interesting so uh, let's gg that this way right and then so here what we're going to do we're going to grab this face in q and control click on curve extract which will basically extract the face and then we can grab these i don't know what's that but we can remove this um there we go grab these and literally um, e x x and move it here and we're gonna grab these and do the same thing so e x x and move it in here and then we can apply that and we have ourselves you know a proper shape here so face and alt x to the other side that didn't work so let's move the origin point here shift s origin to vert and then it should work there we go and close it in here with f if it works probably the geo is flipped so we need to fix it so let's select everything and shift n to recalculate normals and everything is good so now we got these cushions now this one is a little bit close so probably what we need to do is gg and move this a little bit or gxx Move it a little bit away here so we have a bit more space and we're going to convert them into sub d so grab that select everything and we need our market and then control three uh, which will create kind of a yo-yo so what we need to do now is create um, the you know support loops right so just create a few support loops and you should be good to go uh, create kind of like cushions here and then we can you know um, form them properly so select everything and uh, we can actually run a bevel here so bevel and press 3 with hard ups which will create proximity loops like this and then you can press ctrl 3 which is a bit of a faster way of doing it although um you know this bevel is not as uh, flexible as um as running 
loops because you can see that this um, subdivision is much softer because the edges are further away. And you cannot do it with a bevel because it's going to overshoot on itself um, in this area here, you see in the middle. So technically, uh, probably going to be better without a bevel, but I mean, there's an option so you can go with this as well. So let's just run the loops here manually, probably going to be better. So control R and control R and control R. So we're going to use cushions and same here, select everything. Let's just apply this to sharpen. What the hell is going on here? I uh, don't know. Let's clean that. Also, let's uh, apply the mirror and also let's clean the mesh. Okay, so clean mesh. And we're going to remove the sharpen and then we're going to subdivide it and we're going to run some loops here so loop here loop here and you know loop here and loop here right so that will do we could have some kind of a rim going in here so let's just apply that so operation smart apply and click alt click with a mesh machine that we can run a, you know a bevel here like that on the top and on the bottom we could run the chamfer so i just run the chamfer here and click alt click and we can run the bevel here okay here we could run a chamfer so uh, and probably we should you should disable the loop slide because it's going to create a bit of a, bit of a havoc here so turn on the loop slide that's better select everything and mark to remove all the sharp edges that's clean and all text to the other side and we got a really nice you know kind of a soft looking seat so the back could be a bit more interesting uh, we could actually cut in a little bit in here just for fun so we could create you know this kind of uh, cut out let's see how this is gonna look it's gonna look a bit more sci-fi I think also, it's going to, the form is going to look a little bit lighter because, you know, of this cut in here. This is pretty cool. Also, we could create um, some kind of, um, I don't know, um, supports here on the side later on. But anyway, uh, we need some cushions. So uh, we could borrow that, to be honest. But I want to create something custom in here. So let's grab this face and rip it off. So control click on curve extract, right? And um, now we could just GG and align this here and like that. And let me just grab this. There we go. And then GG and move it in here. And then I want to extrude an edge here like this. But I want this edge to be sort of like wings, you know, sticking out. And also um, I want it to be a little bit open here like this. Uh, something like that right i don't know what the hell is going on here that's very weird oh this is a bullion right yeah let's just remove these bullions there we go cool so we got that going on and we just need to run a bevel here for sure hang on let's slice it here first to straighten it up then slice it like this and then slice it like this how are we looking? We're looking pretty peachy, so sharpen that. There is some geo left over here, I think. Yeah, see that? Uh, let's just select that and remove the verts. There we go. Now let's solidify this. So uh, apply scale, and we're going to solidify that. So solidify and solidify inwards. Right. Okay. And let's apply that, and we're going to run some bevels here, for sure, to round it up. And we calculate sharpen. Okay, cool. I run the bevel on this whole thing. Press 1 to soften it up. It's overshooting here on the top, but I think it's due to the geometry here. So let's, let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's press 3 to clean it, and there we go. And that's better. So we got that going on here, which is pretty cool. And then we need some cushions on this, all right? So um, let's uh, let's actually let's actually bring it deeper in. 
so kind of like this so it's kind of set in this chair you know what i mean awesome now we have some openings here that will kind of follow the theme so select this face Control q again and we're gonna create a cut in here holding control kind of like this right and press b and cut it through okay it's gonna look really neat from the side and it's sort of gonna go with the theme so i'll click on sharpen to introduce where the normals and then we're gonna create some cushions here and right? also here on top we could have some sort of uh i don't know yet but uh we could actually cut that but not fully through let me see that so rotate it and move it somewhere here so it cuts through but not really right and maybe a little bit lower so somewhere here that's actually pretty cool now we don't want this overlapping with a bevel because this is going to cause problems so let's just drop it a little bit lower it's not going to you know cause any problems also maybe it's a little bit too deep going down here it kind of looks weak this element here so if i scroll and you know we're gonna select these right and just gg them up a little bit okay so there's a bit more of a structural strength here also so here there's a cut right so let's grab this cut here have a scroll and we're gonna run a um a bevel here right like that before we apply this because when you apply this uh in fact this whole i think cutter here is crooked so let's actually make it straight there we go and uh let's apply this so pressure smart apply and now we're gonna run a um, bevel here so run a bevel here and we're gonna you know actually you don't have to clean the mesh just alt x uh, we don't have to worry about it here we probably need some um, chamfer so chamfer and alt x again and we peachy and we need some chamfer on the whole structure um, so just a little bit of a chamfer here and we're good to go right awesome so that's good uh, here we probably need some bevels as well so click these and create supple bevel transition and again alt x and everything is superb all right good so now we need some kind of uh you know cushions here right so um let me just grab her and make it a bit smaller so if she sits here yeah she needs some cushions in the back see so it's perfect height now so now here uh let's create some interesting cushions yeah so let's grab a cube i can't be bothered with the planes anymore uh, let's grab a cube and make it smaller s z y no y yeah s y no s oh wait we need to switch this shit off here to global s y y there we go and move it in here somewhere and make it bigger and let's see what we got okay that's cool we want to split it okay so we want to split it into maybe three cushions so it's going to be kind of cool like a support for the back you know and then the other things so uh let's just uh uh, this should do and I just run some loops here and maybe two here apply scale and then control three we need to remove the uh, remove the sharpens so there we go so that's the middle okay and then we need one two or uh, whatever on the side so shift the X and now this one could be interesting okay so what we could do is remove the excess geometry so clean mesh and uh, in fact what we could do is disable uh, the subdivision in edit mode so we're gonna see the shape a bit better and we can extrude it up here and bend it like this right and alt r and boom and then uh, let me see that um this could be split though probably and here we could have hmm this could be wider for sure um gx lattice right this needs to be beveled for sure because it's curving so bevel that 
and could be a very long kind of a sort of a cushion which is interesting right so we could do do something like this and see how this will behave so let's let's do that that's interesting and this one could be much shorter okay so uh, s z z yeah much shorter and we could actually um you know array this so do something like that right and array this so make this bigger right and drop it down so drop it down here so it's gonna be like a lumbar support yeah so we have lumbar support here in fact it should be a little bit higher and then we could just you know shift d that and actually make it smaller so s uh, s y y make it kind of smaller or thinner and kind of make them smaller towards the top if you follow my drift in blender crush so let's recover that Control s and most most recent and load the okay so we lost a bit of work no problem so let's just recover that so we're working so fast we lost quite a lot actually uh, so let's just do that i'm not sure this kind of a long pillow is a good idea you know maybe 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 i want to make it shorter maybe i'll delete that and simply you know run with something like this i think this is going to be much much more interesting and of course this should be um wider so gx and you know some another one here like this uh, yeah this could be interesting right then you got this cushion going on here and this one could be shorter so uh control plus and just f gg and drop it down and then you know drop the uh and drop it in here shift s to geometry make it larger and it's going to be the lumbar support right and it should be actually higher lumbar is higher than this right yeah there you go in fact what we could do is do something like this so grab these and move them in like that that's pretty cool right and then grab this face and shift curve extract here and this is already subdivided right uh, so sharpen that and remove all the sharps and simply run a sub d here on that yeah it's pretty cool and this one could be actually narrower so s y y and let's save it because if i have to do it again i'm gonna start murdering my neighbors uh, okay here and uh, that's cool this one could be mirrored so you know mirror to the other side awesome um and this one could be sticking out a little bit more here right so oh you know what I mean? So it kind of supports the uh, the lumbar section. Maybe this one is a little bit too too far out. Far out, groovy. You guys remember that from Fallout? This crazy uh, General Atomics robot. Far out, groovy. All right, so here we could have actually two cushions. So Shift D and R Y Y ninety, and move it in here. Well, Shift S to geometry, make it larger, drop it down, and in fact S Y Y, and this is freaking rotated a little bit, or is it me? Yeah, it is rotated, isn't it? Yeah something's wrong with it so you know set it in here and then we need one more here which is going to be smaller so s shift y y so we're going to scale it on all but y and move it in here and uh, i think you're good to go so now alt h and we almost have a perfect situation here but we could have like an overhang here over her head so I just hide that 
So here, what we're going to do is we're going to grab that and we're going to shift uh, control click on the curve extract, but we're going to remove the subdivision because you just you saw it. if you apply solidification and subdivision, it ain't going to work. Um, so now we can apply the solidification, remove the sharpen, and then control three. And then we're going to have to fix this, yeah. So, um, you know, this could be lower. So, GZ, let me see that. GZ, no, YY, no, XX, right? Yeah. So, GXX, uh, bring it closer here. And these could be, you know, f sort of further away. So, rotate them like this and literally move them away here. So, they create kind of like a cushion, you know. And then we're going to need some. Um, some connections here so you could select this face and control T and then Alt J which would more or less quadrify it except for this edge for whatever we are we have this thing here and then we need to do the same thing here so control T and Alt J and so we can then create you know some sort of shape here and here as well could drop one of these and we're good to go and let me see how I'm looking that is pretty cool so this one could be a little bit you know a little bit uh, sort of uh, you know out there you know what I mean GYY okay and then Alt R it's gonna work Alt R yeah kind of no no really uh, RXX ZZ right no the fuck rx yeah this x is always confuse the shit out of me man every goddamn time i think this is pretty cool um i think this is pretty cool so neat seat alt h and how are we looking yeah we're looking pretty peachy man looking pretty peachy so here we could have some kind of uh support going from the bottom like this now, before we do that, what we need to do is we need to save it. <laughs> okay, guys, so now this whole seat could be a little bit more comfy. I'm just saying. So we could push these out, you know. Whoa. You know what I mean? Push them out a little bit and sort of angle them a tad, maybe. Yeah, something like that. And same here. Actually, these could be uh, these could be flatter at the, at the end. You know, this could be flatter at the end here, so they don't pinch. So let's just select that and S Z and scale them and move them down here. Yeah. It's nice. We could kind of relax this a little bit here, you know. So, uh, sort of grab these and GG. Kind of relax these corners a little bit, yeah. They could be also sinking into to the chair itself. So, let's see how this is gonna look. So, let's just move them down. Yeah, I think that's better, you see. And this corner here could be a little bit better. Sort of, uh, Ranged. Um, let me see that. Maybe these could be moved a bit deeper. Kind of somewhere here. So this corner is not so pinchy. And same here. This could be sank down a bit. Um, so let's just grab that. And then just sink it down. Yeah, there we go. It kind of connects better with the chair. Doesn't look like it's floating or anything, right? Same here, you know, this could be connected a bit better with the chair. So just grab them. And uh, literally, you know, move them in. So G and gonna move them into the chair. Or deeper, basically. Same here. You know, grab this whole thing and move it inside of the chair oh that's a bit too deep sticking on the other side there we go and the bottom could be a little bit uh you know 
bit more sharpish. In fact, the top could be narrower. So let me see that here. Oh, GG and drop it down. Whoa. GG and drop it down. Also, this could be connected. And this could be connected too. I'll text. And then we could. Uh, Oh yeah, narrow down this here, yeah? so sort of, you know, move it in here, yeah? so GX, move it in here, like this, and then, so it's kind of com sort of tapers up, up a little bit, this could be narrower, so this seat kind of fits a bit better here. And now, this looks really nice, and maybe these are a little bit too high, you know, maybe they should be a little bit lower, somewhere here, like that. And maybe these corners should be a little bit higher. So here, like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit better. If it just follows the chair a bit better, right? So that looks comfy. And, you know, here we could have some some kind of, uh, you know, seat belt um, mechanism or whatnot. Cool stuff. All right. So now the base, could, you know, the base needs to be rotary, right? So... We need some cylinder and uh, preferably more than that, so 50 and, you know, scale it down, move it somewhere here, it cannot be too big, but cannot be too small, because, you know, the chair needs to rotate, so let me see, there's going to be a floor here, so plane and, you know, whoa, there's going to be a floor, so that's a floor, she needs to be comfortable here, right, what the hell happened to this plane, flip, what, why is it so weird? so strange um there we go uh, this could be a little bit larger actually this something like that could be good right so we have that and sharpen and then you know we could have some kind of a mechanism in here we could have a, a you know a rotary mechanism or some kind of like a maybe well it's good to be able to rotate in the chair isn't it so rtm macro and then let's just apply scale uh, select this one and alt x and then sharpen and then we could actually scale this up here and move it up to this position and let me see that uh, create another cube so let's grab a cube in fact this could be even smaller I have an idea so add something in here that's gonna be rotating add a cube here uh, let's just scale that and create a mechanism in here. So scale it in. Um, it's gonna go through this cut though. Or what we could do is actually slice this one here like this. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We could create something like this here, and then this one could be embedded in this mechanism here, right? So. Um, let's just grab them both and this could be going this way and could be chamfered yeah and moved up to here I like this perfect and scaled a little bit let me see that is it actually encompassing the chair kind of so this could be moved past the chair in the back here so gx and move it up here uh, not so far and then e uh, move it up and select that grab this edge here and gg and move it in here and then we go into Battle this. Let me see that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Now this one needs to be a little bit higher. So GZ and so it maintains the angle with the chair. So this angle on here needs to be fixed. Okay, needs to be fixed. There we go. That's better. So we got this. Awesome. And this one technically could be moved inside of the chair here and cut so extrude it and then uh 
it's going to get cut by this uh, by this um, angle here. So sharpen this and L and remove this, and then we're good to go, right? So now we can just um, create some connection here between these. So we're going to ins insert them a little bit like that, right? And let's see if there's nothing overshooting in here because it is. So I just fix that. I'll text to the other side. Cool. So like. Select that edge here and run mark sharp and then select all these and we're going to extrude them so E to extrude them like that. Cool, right? And then we can run the bevel on this, okay? Press one. Don't make the bevel too big because it's gonna be problematic. But this is actually interesting mechanism here. And then alright, we're gonna have this connecting to the floor. So solidify the floor down. Well, it's maybe too much solidification, so you know, something like that. And we want some kind of a base here, right? So, cube and you know, drop a base here, maybe like that. The base should be a little bit more robust, okay? Because you know, it's a chair, so when you're in a combat vehicle, so you know, it's gonna be probably some pressure and all that. Now don't worry about the height, the height can be fixed, so um, it's going to be a little bit lo um, lower here. Here on the side we could have bevel, but we need to apply scale. So, but before we do that, actually, I think we're going to cut it. So let's grab an end gun and let's cut it like this. Right? And let's just mirror to the other side and let's see what happens. Um, let's just in bring back this end goal and slice it from from this side like that okay cool and then um let me see that oh, not this one i want to cut this this shape here there like this there we go and sharpen that and uh, what the fuck is going on here man oh, just press F and Alt X and select everything and shift N and it should be fine it isn't seriously uh, Alt N and recalculate outside what the fuck ah double faces Okay, select select this and F, and we should be good. All right, cool. So now we can run some bevels here, and bevels here, and we can run the bevel here. Alt X, and we can definitely run the bevel in the back. Alt X, cool. And uh, we can run some cuts here on the side, just to you know go with the design. B for bevel and cut it and with the normals cool and the back's gonna have some you know some mechanism or whatnot but this you know this looks pretty pretty cool this could be a bit thicker to be honest so let's grab that and split that and I'll do a macro make it make it thicker it's gonna look a little bit more robust and here we could run some uh, kind of reinforcing um, bits on this. See, like that, and bevel, and you know, wait, whoa, wait, the normals, right? Cool, that's awesome. That looks pretty dope, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. This chair could have a bevel running on, for sure. Oh, that's good and let me see could have a definitely chamfer here so sharp loop and run a small chamfer on this small one guys not a big one small one small one it's gonna look really nice yeah let's just apply this and click alt click another chamfer here and then just you know select the object and recalculate sharpen that's good and we're good to go 
We could have some vents here on the side or whatnot, or some kind of uh, even slush here that indicates some mechanism in the back. Uh, yeah. Uh, but this could also be done with, um, you know, with decals. So T to create like a panel in the back, right? So suggestion of opening, and you could even run some um, sharpen this. Let me just apply smart apply and grab this and l p selection and then you can run some wedge cuts with w here uh it's gonna look pretty cool mirror to the other side okay here we could have some kind of like a spring or whatnot so could use these you know also this could have some not a cut in here so we could grab the end gun and we could sort of uh you know Run a cut here like this with a bevel, so B for bevel. You know what I mean? Now, you don't have to go through, but you could go in a little bit like this. And it's gonna be interesting, okay? So just create a little bit of, you know, some kind of a detail here. Same here in the top. You could run a, uh, sorry, the chair and run a cut here in the top like that. with the control B scroll and you know just a bit of a cut here this could actually go through to be honest now nah, it's gonna be a bit noisy um let's recover that and let's not go crazy let's go just same as in the bottom so you got this detail here you know kind of creating a bit more depth uh, to this chair we should definitely clean this garbage here man this is terrible it's a flat surface, there's no way to, to have all these, right, all text to the other side. And uh, now we're going to be able to do that. And in fact, you know what? Yeah, let's just round it up here. And we need to repeat this edge here on the top, right? So, OK, and run the edge here. And then one more time, uh, let's grab this edge here and chamfer and click, alt, click and loop select and smaller chamfer and turn the loop slide yikes what the fuck there's three let's just remove this sharp edge also there's something wrong with this bevel here press one there we go one more time click alt click and loop and run the bevel i mean chamfer sorry Maybe a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, I think that's clean now, right? Awesome. Perfect. That's cool. Now we could have some, you know, additional mechanisms here in the back. Maybe some like a dampening mechanisms. Some additional mechanism here in the back. Just rotate it like that and, you know, um, drop it somewhere here. Uh, even in the middle here, it's gonna look cool. Uh, maybe that's a bit too big. Some kind of a ventilation or whatnot, you know, scale. And bevel this and, you know, chamfer. And then, G zz and you know do something like this so we could technically run kind of like a pipe here some some stuff or we could even repeat these smaller ones like this yeah don't ask me what it is i don't care let the chair specialist decide yeah <laughs> Watch me getting flamed for this shit. All right, so now <laughs> here, um, I'm not going to be connecting them. I'm just going to leave them like that. It looks pretty badass, to be honest. So here we could have some kind of like a, you know, I don't know, some kind of like a bar or whatnot. Um, maybe here kind of like a spring. Um, so let's grab a plane and shift one and move it in here. And uh, maybe somewhere here, right? And let's start in here. 
actually it started in here so e and then e ex oh yeah it's a bit too high perfect and now let's see that could go down here and then extrude it extrude it on this side an E here. In fact, this could go up here like that. Um, something like this could be interesting. And then, um, let me just remove this chick for a second on the floor because I can't bloody see shit. Um, here, in the way of chicks in the way, you cannot see anything, you know what I mean, you're blinded, very dangerous. So, um, let's grab these two, shift control B and I think three is enough. This should also be beveled and this should be slightly beveled and this should be beveled, right? And then E, this could go this way, so uh, this could be combined and this could be battled and then let's grow up what the hell happened in here okay you know what wait let's do it properly um, there we go and then mesh tools and curve extract we see that Yeah, that's pretty cool, I like that. Um, so, in fact, you know, this could be removed and this could go this way. I'm just saying. Um, this looks pretty dope. And then Control 3 to smooth it. Now we need some kind of an element here. So, let's go with Keytops and insert stuff. Free inserts for Keytops by Master Zion creator of hard ops and box cutter the one and only whoa let's go to edit mode select everything alt h some stuff in this uh, insert is hidden for whatever reason let's remove the mats because we don't need them and yeah let's do something like this that's pretty cool right awesome and just drop a bevel on it sharpen and mirror to the other side how we looking that looks pretty freaking cool to be honest we could use another mechanism here like a bar maybe so let's do that um so let's grab uh let's grab one of these so shift d and let me see that here can we convert this to mesh? Virtual geometry to mesh? And it disappeared, okay. Uh, let's just shift D that and, uh, you know, virtual geometry to mesh. Let's grab one vert, shift D and P selection, delete that, grab this vert and we can keep playing with it. So move it in here. And this one's gonna have to be a little bit more interesting. So, EX, move it in here, move it down. EX, perfect. And then GX, move it in here. In fact, no, I'm gonna move it up, yeah? So, GZ. And we're gonna move it at an angle. Yeah, let's move it like this. It's gonna be kinda cool. That's kind of interesting, right? And we can make this a bit more narrow here, but more, you know, kind of wider in this area. Or in fact, we could introduce here one more vert, but uh, I think it's gonna be okay. 
Okay, so Shift Control B and Shift Control B and then uh, EX and Mesh Tools and Curve Extract and S mirror to the other side and what we get here yeah that's pretty cool man that's pretty cool this could actually be a little bit lower so you know kind of like this here I just rotate it and control 3 and uh, how are we doing yeah we're doing pretty good man and this one could be, uh, you know, kind of thicker here. So let's just remove that and grab a cylinder. And we can just, 32 is fine. And move it up here, RY90, scale it. Move it somewhere here. SX and sharpen and apply scale. All text done. All right. And then, well, uh, let's go here to select loops and boundary loops and shift tilde. Why is it not working? My shift tilde. There we go. Uh, and out here, macro, right? And then bevel sharpen cool awesome so now here in the bottom we could have some uh, we could actually borrow this one shift D R uh, Y 90 and scale it and drop it in here and we could have some kind of you know I don't know whatever the hell some some mechanism here uh, in the back one of them could be larger and offset here and this is gonna be interesting cool alt h let me see how this looks yeah it looks pretty awesome guys i think we're done so this is how you create you know an interesting sci-fi chair for your pilot or whatnot well thanks so much for watching and uh see you in the next one